Hello, today is Tuesday, October uh, October 12th, 2022. I, uh, we had a holiday yesterday, so it's uh, kind of a Monday uh for me, uh, but uh, I just fared well and uh, I came out okay and uh, I'm at home. I am trying to read this interesting uh Article that I've never read before, and I am trying to practice English by reading it. And while reading it, I would like to pick up uh, words, phrases, sentences that I would like to remember one more time. Most of the times, all the words, expressions th- that uh, I already know or I already memorized, but I would like to. You know, remind myself of those good expressions that I could use later when I uh, go overseas, like uh, go to the America, go to uh, Canada or uh, America, USA or Europe, like uh, France, Germany, uh, Romania, uh, Czech Republic, uh, Italy, and and so on. So uh, here we go. Uh, police are called on boy selling ice cold beer, but his clever sign has them chuckling. Yeah, young boy cannot sell beer; it's uh, prohibited. Makua Saha, freelance writer, uh, posted October eighth, twenty 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 two. So it's about four days old. Very hot and delicious. People often get frightened at the smallest things. And call the police. And this is precisely what happened to an 11-year-old child who later turned out to be a genius. This child, Seth, saw his neighbors calling the police and never lost his cool. Apparently, the neighbors had a problem with his clever sign when selling ice-cold beer. When the cops came, they couldn't help but marvel. At the sheer brilliance of the kid, really, we must have often come across such kids who are built for business. Clever, marvel at, marvel at, yeah, marvel at, marvel at. We have a lot of ads here. They have an uh, uh, entrepreneurial acumen. That's good word. A cumin that sets them apart from kids their age, or kids of their age, or kids their age. That's another good term, man. Here, a cumin entrepreneurial, a cumin an entrepreneurial neural a cumin. The kids their age, kids their age. You would see them at crossroads with their brilliant ideas. That would let, uh, net them some cash, and if their luck favors them, they end up with an empire for generations to enjoy. Really, uh, I'm gonna connect my phone to the laptop here to download some photos. Uh, yep, I'm just walking in my living room. Sometimes I just sitting. At my desk, um, what was it? And if their luck favors them, they end up with an empire for generations to enjoy. This kid from Utah had the plan of selling lemonade, but with a twist, he put up a clever sign that said "ice cold beer." Uh. So this kid had been selling it in one of the hottest states in the country, and and knew that he would face some tough competition from other from the other kids. The sign concerned a few neighbors, who then decided to call the cops. After the cops came, they found Seth not selling beer. Actually, they took a look at the sign where root beer was written in green. This marketing gimmick was made in such a way that the word "root" wouldn't be visible from afar. 
This implies that the kid hadn't deceived anyone involved. After all, after all, it wouldn't be his fault if someone didn't come across the word now, would it? Hmm. I don't know. That's not. Not. I I I don't think that's a clever move, but it's rather to see a slight deception that is allowed, and it's more like a comical uh, gaff、uh, marketing, a、uh, a、uh, uh, kind of a gaff marketing strategy.、Uh, probably he could sell more bottles of ciders, but. I would be pissed off if I were looking for a beer and I came across the sign. And when I approached his stand, he doesn't have any beer. I would be mad. But once again, he's just a child. He's not supposed to sell beer on the street. So it's a complicated situation. Kids' clever sign impresses police in Utah. The police department at Bigham City also suitably impressed with the clever sign of this genius. Rather than scolding him for it, they ended up considering his idea to be quite an excellent strategy for marketing. With his being with this being put on Facebook later, one can correctly guess that this blew up heavily. One user wrote, "That's a kid that is destined to be a great marketing expert. He knew how to get the attention of people. Seems it worked, and he got police protection as well, protection money. Bet he got what the? F-、uh, sorry, uh, my、uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra." Has a really quite、uh, touch screen sensitivity, very good, but sometimes it's uh, uh, tricky and、uh, irksome. That's a kid that is destined to be a great marketing expert. He knew how to get the attention of people. Seems it worked and got police protection as well. Bet he got lots of attention as well. Another user commented, "He's savvy, neat, and clean, hardworking, and thinking about what appeals to the public. He can go anywhere with that mindset, and with that community of great police officers supporting him, he already got mentoring." I love this. While some of us. Would think that the people who call the cops on this kid with a clever sign should be embarrassed. The police felt differently. Their post wrote, "Our citizens would never feel ashamed or embarrassed to call us. They were just chilling in what they felt was a suspicious circumstance. No harm, no foul." At the end of the day, it was just a young child trying to his hand at business and succeeding with a clever sign. The police were so impressed that they decided to try out a few bottles of the root beer that he was selling. After all, it's still a hot day in Utah, wasn't it?